डियर स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सूर्य प्रकाश कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ द कोर्स प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सी टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफर्ड इन द फोर्थ सेमेस्टर ऑफ बी एस सी ए जी डिग्री प्रोग्राम सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सी टेक्नोलॉजी एज एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड सम रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स सम रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट्स ऑन दिस टॉपिक्स सो फर्स्ट सी द सी what is the seed so botanically we can say that botanically seed is the mature fertilized ovule which consist of embryo endosperm and seed coat embryo is a vital uh, vital part of the seeds uh, which is represented as the next seedlings next plants embryonic plants and uh, it is consists of Uh, several things that embryonic axis and cotyledons embryonic axis further subdivided further consist of the plumule the radicle the hypocotyle and the cotyledons other ones in case of dicotyledon seeds we can say that the these parts are easily observable but in case of monocot seeds these are not much more uh, observable so in that case in the case, case of monocot this is refused diffused in the form of scutellum so but in case in agriculture when we talk about the seed in agriculture it is little bit different in case of agriculture the seed is any plant part any organ of the plant which are capable to regenerate in a new seedlings is considered as the seeds that's why we can say that this these are the symbol of beginning we can say that this is the symbol of beginning it serves in case of agriculture the seed is seed serves as the as the linking link link between two generations i mean to say that the it is link is between two generation one generation to the other generation to maintain for maintaining the intrinsic inherent quality whatever present in the particular variety uh, in the seeds so it also serves as the connecting link between two generation to maintain this kind it is considered as a symbol of beginning as you as you, i already told that it is the basic inputs we can say that in agriculture seeds is seeds are the basic inputs uh, <clears throat> so now we come to if we see that the seeds what is the advantage of the seeds for plants so we can say that it maintains the first and for most advantages that it maintain the dormancy until the seeds retain the, the seeds uh, is uh, facing the condition uh, in congenial environment to raise a good seedlings a good crop second one it affords the protection to young plant at vulnerable development stages and third one it is advantages for contain it contains the food supply food store as we already told that the it consists the endosperm which is refer which refers to as the uh, storage food food storage for seeds it supply the uh, foods it nurture the food, the embryo until the photosynthesis uh, activity phenomena is started and last to one is that we can say that the for the dispersals of plants seed is essentially required so in this way the seeds are advantage advantages for the uh, plants while we talk about the seed characteristics there are different features of seeds the size of seeds the shape of the seeds and the color of the seeds these way the there are quantum variations there are number lots variation occurred in the case in uh, while we talk about the different characteristic feature of the seeds as we as we can see in the slides that size of the seed ranges from the dust particle to that of the double coconuts which weighing 5 to 6 kg of seeds uh, kg while we talk about the shape of the seeds it also varied from oblong flattened and uh, different types of and the, the surface of seeds may be wrinkled smooth etc the color of seeds also varied from one species to other species even within the species the color of the seeds varies for example in if we see the soybean there are different colors of the soybean seeds that white 
soybean and black soybean. So these slides we can see the variation, the amount of variations with respect to the color, the size, uh, the shape of the seeds. There are a large number of large uh, variations. Here, crop. But here we can we here we can summarize that the seeds are uh, advantageous useful to the men for the purpose of food and feed animal such as cereals in case of cereals legumes and vegetable seeds spices and condiments also black pepper etc are used for our uh, kitchen purpose beverages call like coffee cocoa, uh, cocoa and chocolates edible oil that is coconut soybean peanuts and flour etc fibers such as cotton commercial materials such as buttons, soap, bands, etc. These are some of the uses of the seeds which we can uh, say here that uh, this is the use. Now, what are the use of seed to men? Generally, we use, we can say that the seeds are generally used in agriculture for production of for the uh, <coughs> men. Now, the next thing, the seed technology. We come to the topic, we come to the seed technology that what is this? What is the seed technology? As we know that the technology means, technology refers to the any activities which are producing the end products. So why the, those technology, those activities, those practices which, which produces the seeds is considered as the seed technology in Netflix. So we can say that they, it is a body of knowledge which deals on the production handling and storage of seeds. So the seed technology, the importance of seed technology to the crop production is enormous. Until unless we don't have the say, particular, the, the proper activities, proper processing and some scientific knowledge used in seed technology, uh, we, can, we, can, we cannot have uh, good crops. So seeds are the easiest and fastest means of plant multiplication as we can see here. Therefore, the knowledge in the production, handling and storing high quality seeds, the quality seeds, the seed quality, it is a very much important and vital for the um, crop. Seed remains to be the most important form of the germplasm while we talk about the crop improvement. In case of crop improvement, the germplasm is the vital role, the very important role of the germplasm is there. Until unless we don't have a large number of germplasm collection, improvement is little bit different and uh, um, maybe um, detail, um, delayed. So the, in case of improvement, seed is, botanical seeds is required. We, we can say here, we can clear, we would like to, I would like to clear here that in case of when we talk about the improvement, crop improvement, the botanical seed is required. We, as in agriculture, we can say that the, any plant part like tubers, stems, all are the seeds. But in case of while improvement is taking place, the crop, we talk about the crop improvement, the botanical seed is required to advance the generation to generations. In case of as such maintaining the viability, the seed is very much essential to maintain the viability in a particular species and a story ensures the ability of genetic materials which could be used for the further improvement. And unless we don't have the storage facility, proper storage facility, it is very difficult to maintain, to store the genetic velvety present in the uh, crop, different crop species for the crop improvement. So we, if you talk about the, the importance of seed technology, it is continuing that by studying the seed of germination seedling, these are some of the importance of the seed technology in crop sciences. When we talk about, we already told that the seed structure, which consists of the uh, embryo, the seed coat, the uh, the seed coat, cotyledons, apicotyle, hypocotyles, plumules, etc. So, when we talk about the development of seed, it is the um, long process of uh, crop growth. Seed development stages in wheat. It we, we can see in the slides that the kernels of the various stages during grain filling, the kernel are watery ripe earlier, but then later on it is come it comes under the milking stage, then at the duff stage and the hard uh, and later on the kernels at hard hard 
Duff showing loss of the green color and so on. The physiological maturity is very much important to harvest the, the, the practice in the seed technology that at what time we should mature, we should say, we should consider the crop as a matured crop. So when physiological maturity takes place, we can say that uh, it, is, uh, it is ready to harvest. So now one more thing that the question arises in the mind of uh, my students and some other people also that the seed and grain, what is these two? These two are a little bit different. Seeds and grains are differed for on some basic principle, basic aspects. Like in case of seeds, it is a result of organized seed programs. It is the result of organized seed program, but in case of grain, it is not the commercial, it, it is not the organized way, it is the result of commercial cultivation. Basically, you can say that the seed is used where the seed is considered as those grains which are used, those part, those uh, you can say that the mature ovules which are used for the next generation, the crop raising a good crops. But in case of grain, those um, mature ovules which are used for the consumption purpose is considered as the grains. So, in case of seeds, there is scientific knowledge involved in the production of processing, production and processing and storage. And what are those scientific knowledge we can see, we can and narrate here, we can quote here that the isolation distance, isolation, the roguing, the different practices which are uh, which are followed during the production purpose. So isolation, it is also isolation. What is what do you mean by isolation? Ah, literally we can say that the isolation is nothing but only the keeping away one from another, one to the another. It means we have to distance. Uh, we, we in case of uh, to, today's, uh, we are seeing social distancing. Distancing. It is little bit only the distancing that. Uh, the one crop should be um, distinct to the other crop varieties. So, in case of isolation, there is two different types of isolations: time isolations and distance isolations. Roguing is other scientific knowledge, scientific practices which are um, used in case of seed production. So, in case of roguing, we just remove the off types from um, seed production plots. But in contrast to this there is no need of scientific knowledge this such type of scientific knowledge in the case of grain production or commercial seed production commercial grain production in case of seeds we should we maintain the pedigree pedigree so of the breeder seeds so that we can trace back that whether this particular production seed plot is uh, produced from which type of breeder seeds so but in case of this grain there is no maintenance of pedigree the quality of seeds should be supervised by the seed certificate. It is very much essential that until and unless our seed plot is not supervised by the certificate agency, it is not um, fit for the seed purpose. So, seed production, uh, there are different classes of seeds. So, it is it must be supervised by the officials of the seed production and certification agency. But in case of grain, it is not required. In case of seeds, uh, routine testing is required until unless uh, the testing the, the testing for different quality parameters are not done, we cannot say that it is the seeds. It is, but in case of grain, this is not required. The routine test is not required. So similarly, similarly, the processing in case of processing in case of uh, storage, the scientific knowledge, the the uh, proper grading, the cleaning. All things are uh, followed in case of production of seeds. The proper leveling that which type of which class of seeds are those we it is we maintain in case of seeds. But in case of commercial production of grain, it is not required. So, if we talk about the classification of seeds, the seeds can be classified on different basis. For example, in case of Based on the presence or absence of endosperms, the seeds are classified as endospermic seeds or albuminous seeds and non-endospermic or albuminous seeds. In case of endospermic seeds, in basal, the, the embryo is 
very um, basal rudimentary axillary linear embryo endosperm is lactic uh, take larger portion of the seeds whereas non endospermic seeds uh, the uh, endosperms are reduced form based on the cotyledons we know very well that there are two types of seeds the monocotyledon seeds and dicotyledon seeds similarly in case of uh, in, in, with respect to the relative stability the seeds are orthodox type and recalcitrant type this two is very much important to uh, have the knowledge about this the orthodox types of seeds what is this this is those seeds which have less than 5% of seeds 5% of moisture percentage is considered as the orthodox or orthodox type of seeds we can store for the longer periods but in case of recalcitrant type of seeds it is the seeds which have little bit more moisture higher moisture that of the, the orthodox orthodox type of seeds in case of genetic genetic quality based on the genetical quality the seeds are defined they are classified in uh, different parts that the nucleus seeds foundation seeds uh, breeder seeds um, certified seeds and truthfully labeled seeds so we deal with the one to another that nucleus seeds nucleus seeds is what it is just you what you know that the nuclear the importance of nucleus in cell similarly in case of nucleus in the seed technology the seed classifications nucleus seeds are much much more important it is vital to maintain the genetic purity and it is true to the seeds produced directly by the breeder of the variety it means that the it is the you can say that it is the asset of the breeders the breeder who developed the variety it is the asset of this uh, and directly produced by this breeders it is genetically and physically 100% pure it is exempted from the seed certification there is no need of seed certification but we are talking about the seed production uh, principles uh, there is the, the, the requirement of certification but in case of nucleus seeds it is much much it is exempted from the seed certification and also there is no tag the, the labeling is not required when we talk about the next uh, next step uh, stage of the seeds that is the breeder seed this is we can say that the chain of the seeds the chain of the seeds that nucleus seed breeder seeds then are foundation seeds and certified seeds this is the seed production chain so breeder seeds is the progeny of nucleus seeds we when we grow the nucleus seeds of a particular variety we can harvest a breeder seeds this is multiplied by the qualified plant breeder at a sponsoring institute where we can produce and who 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 just care caretake of this particular seed crop so here we can clearly indicating that the qualified plant breeder is responsible to in the production of the breeder seeds at a particular sponsoring institutes where it can be a sponsor produce it is also genetically physically 100% pure and viable it is exempted from the seed certification agency but here it is exempted from the seed certification agency but the rubber stamp of the scientist related with this seed production crop uh, that is the plant breeder the qualified plant breeder the qualified agronomist the uh, the personnel from the crop production is required is required it is leveled with the golden yellow tag in contrast to the nucleus seeds here the tag is required tag is the seeds a lot is leveled with the golden yellow tag next the next stage is the foundation seeds it is the progeny of breeder seeds it produced by the trained personnel under the supervision of plant breeders foundation seed can be produced at the state farm a state farm or the the farm agriculture farm of the state agriculture universities it is multiplied in phases as per requirements if we have a large quantity we require a large quantity of foundation seeds so we can say we can multiply it in a stage 1 and a stage 2 uh, it is leveled with, with leveled with white color tag and duly certified by the seed certification Certif seed certification is essentially required in the production of foundation seeds and it is the seed lot is uh, leveled with the white color tag now the certified seeds 
the actual seeds for the farmers. These seeds, these uh, previous classes of the seeds were the, uh, the, the progeny of the multiplication of the next generations, next stage of the seeds chain. But the certified seed is the real seed for the farmers and it is produced by the foundation seeds and it is produced at by the technical personnel at state agriculture farm and uh, it is its further multiplication is not permitted because we know that the further multiplication is uh, just uh, just uh, just uh, accumulating the uh, impurities the it losses the genetic as well as the physical purity so further multiplication of certified seeds is not required not uh, permissible you can say we cannot advocate the multiplication of certified seeds <coughs> It is leveled, it leveled with the azure blue colored tag duly certified by the seed certification agencies. So this is the main um, seeds, the real seeds which are used by the uh, farmers. So one more thing is that the truthfully level seeds. In case of lack, lacking the seeds availability, in case of seed uh, scarcity of the seed ability we just permit we just permit the use of tl seeds to the farmers and but there is something it should must be uh, must permit it should must uh, you can say that uh, uh, it should <coughs> just clear the different uh, different criteria of a tl seeds that it is the supervised by the farmers and leveled with the opal green color tag it should must have proper generation percentage it should must have the um, genetic and physical purity as, as subscribed by the uh, standard is is the international seed testing Asso association now we talk about the when you talk about the seed quality one part is the seeds and another part is their quality until unless we don't have the quality seeds we cannot expect the proper good crops commercial crops so the seed quality is very much essential so we deal with this the seed quality indicates the ability germination and establish healthy seedlings under stressful conditions so these are some of the <coughs> slides why seed quality is important to grow to have a good crop commercial crops now here from this slides we can concentrate here that the seed quality can be easily understand easily understood with the core concept of quality seeds core concept we can see here that one is the in, in inner core the middle core and the outer core there are two cores we can the two circles and uh, three circles are there so first one is the uh, inner core uh, middle one middle core and outer cores at the center the in inner cores we have to we should must the quality the seeds must have the, the variety should must have the genetically potential we should produce the seeds of those variety which have the genetic potential until and unless the use the production of seeds is uh, useless until and unless we don't have the particular variety the potential variety uh, superior to that of the existing one uh, we cannot produce the seeds so the genetic potentiality is very much important which comes under the genetic uh, inner course now coming to the middle course there are four different aspects in middle code with respect to the seed quality so uh, genetic purity we can say that uh, genetic purity physical purity seed vigor seed germinations these are four different components of seed quality which is very much which is very much important so when we can deal here the genetic purity what is this genetic purity is the purity the trueness to the type of the variety of a particular crops so a particular crop a species it is it should must be 100% pure purity the genetic purity should must be 100% of a particular varieties in case of physical purity it is nothing but only the physical composition of the seed lot the physical composition of seed lot which consists of the inert matter and the defective seeds inert matter what is this inert matter 
inert material is nothing but only the stone particles, the soil particles, the stems. So, <coughs> so, so, pause kar liya So, we are taking, talking, we are talking about the physical purity. Physical purity is the, is the physical composition of a seed lot and which consists of the inert matter and the defective seeds. What is the inert matter? It is the physical inert, inert things which are present in the seed lots like seed, uh, soil stone, the sand particles, the stem, uh, some other etc. All is the talk about the defective seeds are those seeds which are the, um, the revealed seeds which are less than half of the normal size of the seeds. And uh, the, 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 you can say that the revealed seeds, the seeds infected with the disease and pests are comes under the defective seeds. So it should must be, the seed lot should must be purity, having the physically purity, pure. And the permissible amount of the physical purity is varied with the class of seeds 0 to 5 percent. Seed germination. Seed germination is very much important until unless the seed have not proper germination, it is useless. The, we cannot expect the uh, good crops. So seed germination is the physiological measure of a seed lots. It, the, uh, when the seeds is uh, sown, seeds are sown in the, um, you yeah, can say that the seeds are being provided the congenial environment. It is the physiological activity, the activities, metabolic activities started of the uh, embryo and then it, is, it just differentiate in the polar, polar, uh, polar state, polar, um, polar apex. So in case of this seed germinations, the class of seeds, depending upon the class of seeds, the seed germination should must be 80% to 90% depending upon the class. But there is some grasses from where the germination percentage is 60% is optimal. So seed vigor. The one, one more component of seed quality is the seed vigor. What is this seed vigor? Seed vigor is the properties of a seeds which are some total of all those properties which depend upon the planting. After planting of the seeds, it requires it, 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 it develops a uniform and uh, um, just a fast growth of the seedlings. Under different stress environment, under both environments, uh, the favorable environments and the stress environments. So seed should must have a proper vigor. So we complete the mono middle, middle core middle core with uh, different components is the genetic purity, physical purity, seed germination and seed vigor. In when we talk about the outer core, we can say here that there are different components, the seed health. Seed health is also very much important. It is the presence or absence of insect pest in the seed lot. If there are will seeds in the seed lot we can say that the the seed the health of seed lots is not up to mark so we should the seed lot should must have a proper <coughs> proper seed health similarly the seed color the variety of the, the seeds of a particular variety should have must be uh, specific and it is uh, it is <coughs> clear cut they say <coughs> what uh, when i talk about the uh, the different uh, coat seed coat color of the uh, in the same species in soybean we can say that the white soybean and black soybeans seed size <coughs> seed size earlier i told that the size of the seeds varied from the dust particle to that of the double coconuts so, so this is the larger variations and also the scientists reviewed the scientists work and proven that the seed size play a positive role positive effects in the generation in the, the in, in the development of the seedlings similarly the seed moisture seed moisture is also a very much important component of the seed quality if we have a much um, high moisture content in the seeds it will be damaged by the with the insect the pest so generally the seeds the crops are harvested in field at that time the it, it contains the little bit higher moisture contents that 25 to 20 to 25 percent but for the storage purpose 
we should the seed should must be reduced the seed moisture should must be reduced up to 8 to 12 percent depending upon the longer longevity depending upon the storage uh, that up to what um, periods we are going to store the seeds in that way the seeds moisture is reduced so the quality of good seeds and improved seeds must be following the criteria as per the production manual of ICR 1963 that's the genetic factor genetic factors the 10 to 15 percent more yield than the local or recently used value what I told in the more core concept that the genetic potentials then the variety the seeds is should be produced of that particular variety which must have genetic potential meaning thereby that it should must produce 10 to 15 percent more yield than that of the huge commercial recently used varieties it should must be tolerant to the infestation and infection of the adverse situation like natural calamities, soil pH, so abiotic and abiotic uh, stresses. And uh, suitable period for maturity depending upon the agroclimatic condition, it, 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 these are the some of the more genetic factors uh, quality seeds should must have. In case of physical factors, free from other varieties of the seed or the another crops weed seeds, another crop seeds weed seeds dirt inert matter what i told earlier the inert matter the defective seeds second physically the good germination as fixed to the each kind of variety of seeds how which i deal already in case of quality components of the seeds so the advantage of using a good quality seeds if a farmers use the quality seeds we have the advantage that it Need, you need a slow less seeds so it, it, you, it uh, you need a small quantity of seeds it the more seeds will be germinated will be germinated and you only need a minimum of replanting there is no need of until when there is particular proper germination is there there is no question of replanting so we will have a good advantage over the of the good quality seeds we will get a strong seedlings the having a um, good vigor of the particular seeds which growth a particular uh, plant growth and fosters the plants have better defense to stress and diseases if we have the quality seeds the the, the plants grown from that quality seeds must have but must defend to the stress and environment diseases the plants will ripe at the time of uh, at the same time because there is no any uh, impurities so the physical and genetic impurity is there so the all the crop total whole crop will ripe at the same times so in case of rice these are some of the criteria which should must equality seeds have that the pure seed of the foundation category and certified category seed classes it should must have the 98% in case of germination we can he see here that the 80 percent germination is required in case of foundation certified seeds moisture percentage depending upon the uh, storage facility available it, it varied from 8 to 13 percent test uh, to total wheat seeds the maximum count of total wheat seeds are here you can see here the 10 seeds 10 wheat seeds per kg in case of foundation seed whereas in case of certified seeds it is 20 per kg objectionable weed seeds is there inert matter should vary only up to uh, permissible up to two percent objectionable seeds is 10 per kg so similarly in case of wheat these are the some of the uh, criteria of uh, uh, quality seeds so factor affecting seed quality these are some of the factors there are some of the factors which are responsible to affect to deteriorate the quality of the seeds this may be the genetic makeup the which consists of the seed size and bulk density in case of physical or in a physical or environmental factors that can influence the seed quality it should it consists of the injury during planting and establishment growing condition during the seed development nutrition of the mother plant damage during etc these are some of the physical parameters physical factors which are responsible right from the beginning to that of the end i mean to say that the right from the seed plot sowing to that of the harvest and storage the physical purity should must be maintained until unless uh, otherwise the 
the impurity, the effect, uh, it is uh, just affecting the seed, uh, seed quality. So these are some of the reference book for seed technology. We can hear, we can see here that there are some of the uh, textbook, uh, the students you know, may, may consult. So lastly, we can conclude that morning so the day, everything else may wait but not agriculture by yes. the way we complete this today's lectures students i think you must understand my lecture okay